Would you like to live this life? What would you do to have it? Welcome to the Channel One show, Time Will Tell. As always, we'll be talking live about something that affects all of us. Now, Roman, I understand you're a businessman and you do business with Donald Trump. You've had discussions with him, shook his hand, looked him in the eye. Let's talk to an expert as we continue our discussion. Joining us in our studio is Doctor of Economics and Housing Cooperative Director Roman Vasilenko. Good morning, Roman. Hello. Well, I won't mince my words. I was extremely skeptical about him at first. I gave it to him straight. I did, didn't I? I said, I won't go easy on you in the interview. You're going down. I won't play along. I don't care how much money you have, whether you're rich or poor. Either way, you're going down. But he really believed what he said. Three times I went bankrupt and started again from scratch. But there were times when I had no clothes, no food, and nothing to feed my family. Today, I'm the director of my own holding, which includes over a dozen companies. I work with tens of thousands of employees worldwide. I'm Roman Vasilenko. This is my story about success. Yours. When someone seriously sets their sights on becoming rich, they start looking for ways to go about it. Let's be honest here. If you don't have a special talent, didn't win a lottery and were not born into money, then you don't have many options. And so, many people soon realize that network marketing offers a genuine opportunity to get rich, achieve your goal and fulfill your dream. But that's where you run into a problem, because on the one hand you have a burning desire to improve your financial situation, but on the other hand you're afraid to go into network marketing because there's so much hearsay, prejudice and misunderstanding around it. Network marketing is generally not taken seriously. Let's be honest, this way of earning a living is often frowned on. As a result, you face a difficult choice. Either you take a gamble on going into network marketing to provide for your family and make your dream come true, or pass up this opportunity and go on living the way you have always have, unchanged. During my life in network marketing, it's been almost 30 years now, there was a time when I was a shame to say I worked in the business. Thank God that's behind me now. I now know for sure that I made the right decision. Had I not made that decision back then, I'd now be working for some bank. I'd have a regular 9-to-5 job. Maybe I'd have become a senior manager and reached the top of my career. I'd be getting a fixed salary. I'd be dependent on my employer and worrying about losing my job. Fortunately, that's not the case. I'm free. I stand on my own two feet. I don't depend on anyone else because network marketing is truly based on free enterprise. The business gives me total freedom, both financially and to set my own schedule. You're not subordinate to anyone. You do your own business, devoting as much time to it as you see fit. And when you see fit, and you only work with people you choose to work with. Now, I'm scared to even imagine what I would be now and what would have become of me if I taken any notice of what everyone else thought. Mark my words. Right now, there are people who are wealthier than you and have a higher social standing. They look down their noses at what you do for being involved in network marketing. Just give it time, say five years on. Where will they be and what about you? What are their prospects compared with yours? Working for a salary, they'll have climbed one or two rungs at most. But you'll have grown your business and become a millionaire by then. You'll be smiling down at them from the height of your success. Good evening, Olympic Hall.
Today, I regard network marketing as the only decent, accessible option that can make anyone out there rich. I'm not exaggerating. I don't know of any other honest way of getting rich from scratch that has such tremendous potential. Network marketing allows you to become as rich as you wish, or as rich as you can imagine. Importantly, network marketing helps you succeed in other areas of life too. You involve as a person, honing your communication skills, mastering public speaking. You travel a lot. You really can be of service to others and grow as a person. 30 years in this business have taught me something very important. Multi-level marketing can help you get everything you want. All you need is passion and determination. Set your sights on your goal and move steadily towards it. I owe my whole fortune and lifestyle to network marketing. And in this film, I'd like to tell the whole truth about network marketing and show you its true face and opportunities. I'll show you exactly why network marketing is the way you can achieve success. I always knew I'd have a good life, that I was meant to live well. Since I was a kid, I knew I'd have to work hard to support my family and have a good standard of living. I was born into a military family and spent my whole childhood in garrisons. After high school, I entered military school. I worked my way up to officer and served in the Navy. I first learned about network marketing in the early 90s when it was new in Russia. I attended my first seminar. Honestly, I understood nothing. I didn't get what good it could do me. Then I tried it, and it started working. I made some money. Then as I went in deeper and got a better grasp of it, I realized what huge potential this business had. Most people don't understand what network marketing is all about. I'm going to explain it to you. Multi-level marketing is a network of independent sales consultants who form a direct link between manufacturer and customer. In fact, you're already familiar with how this works. Each day we sell without knowing. Maybe you just got back from a vacation you really enjoyed. What did you do right away? You told your family, friends or co-workers all about it. And I bet one of those people then booked with the same travel agency, stayed at the same hotel or traveled to the same resort. Or you saw good movie and wrote about it on social media. How do your friends react? They'll do what you did, go out and see the movie. Every day we share our impressions of banks, insurance companies, hairdressers, restaurants, cars, all the things we use in our daily lives. Because of our opinions, other people use the same services, the same products, the same banks, buy the same cars. Even just by wearing a certain clothing brand or driving a certain make of car, you're inadvertently advertising them. Now, imagine actually getting paid for it. So far, doesn't sound so different from any other ordinary business, does it? I mean, a store clerk also gets paid to work, but there's one big distinction. Distributors build a team and get a percentage from the whole network, and that's business. Network marketing is a very simple and organic form of business that's built on the laws of nature. Imagine a tree. The people you've invited are the thickest roots spreading outward from the trunk. They in turn create their own networks, inviting friends to join them. They're like thinner roots going deeper, further away from the trunk. And so on down to the smallest roots. And now imagine that you receive a commission from each sale. In other words, a good network business is not unlike a strong, well-developed tree. The wider and deeper the root system, the more extensive and powerful it becomes. And everything that flows through it turns into powerful cash flow. Hundreds of thousands of millions of dollars. And in nature, the toughest time is at the start. When the tree is small, the trunk looks like a blade of grass and the roots are tiny. They're afraid of drought, afraid of the sun, afraid of wind and frost. This is the toughest time. And every network worker has to go through it. But the more you're tested, the more the tree grows, and the more the root system develops, and the moment comes when the root system begins to develop itself. Even if the trunk is cut, a new sapling sprouts, and the system lives on, and you're at the heart of this moment. You're always at the center of this cash flow growing day by day. 
The annual turnover of MMI business in the world today is over $200 billion. Over 100 million people are professionally employed in the MLM industry, and those are just the ones working professionally. Two new dollar millionaires are made every week in the MLM business. Now let's take a look at what it is. Well, first off, network marketing is suitable for absolutely everyone. Whatever your age, whatever your religion, or wherever you're from, anyone can get involved. And note that if you're 40, 45 years old, it's hard to find a job. Ex-military who went into the reserve or quit, it's hard to find a job. If you're 50, then really no one wants you at all. There's no way to make money. Retired people, students, getting a job after college. You get into some low-paid position and you need to spend 10 years on average working your way up to a top management position. 10 years and up to make senior manager and attain a good salary, decent earnings. In network marketing, it takes only two or three years to be earning a senior manager level, maybe 50 to $100,000 a month. And in the MLM business, that's nothing out of the ordinary. This is normal income for an MLM company manager. Network marketing is the business of the future, even though it has existed in the United States since the last century. Constantly changing and adapting to the realities of modern life, it absorbs all the best and latest practices. All the while, its essence stays the same. At its center is a human being who can't be replaced by robots or technology. You may ask Roman, why is this important? Look around you. New technology breakthroughs are taking place worldwide every day. Professions that we used to consider indispensable are already being consigned to history. Factories and farms are becoming fully automated. In the service sector, robots are starting to replace humans. As a result, there are fewer jobs. Unemployment is the scourge of modern society. How do we secure our future? Where do we work? How can we feed our family? Network marketing gives us the chance to take control of our future because a person can't be replaced. What's special about MLM? A lot. But the most important thing is that you're truly free. You're your own boss. You're not limited to time frames or space restrictions. They don't exist. There's no cap on your earnings. You can work whenever you want, with whoever you want, not with the people you're forced to work with. You're free to set up your own team, forming it to your liking. Basically, you build your own business and you do it yourself and for yourself, and you earn accordingly. There are no restrictions on earnings, distances or time, and no bosses. You set your own goals and you reach them yourself. You can set them as high as you want. This is free enterprise business. You work for yourself. When you join any network company, this is what you do. You're briefed and given accounting tools and the product, and you go to work for yourself. Some of the functions and services are taken care of by the parent company, but you work as your own company, your own business, and earn as much as you want. Just don't be lazy. If not, MLN, then what? Where else do you have an option to make money with any diploma at any age? You can build a career for 10, 20 years up to senior manager, working 9 to 5 for a boss for zip. Your life is not your own. Network marketing is about teamwork. Each leader has an interest in helping their distributors, their team, their structure. When you join an MLM business, you're never left on your own. It's a team based business because your manager only makes money when you do. And so you receive substantial support and assistance. Each manager has an interest in the success of their team, in the success of each of their employees. In this unique business model, you advance while helping others. This is fundamentally different from the classic lone wolf approach where some will make it and some won't. Dog eat dog. Here, everyone supports each other because everyone Everyone has an interest in each other's success. Managers only make money when their teams do, because they get a percentage of their team's revenue. And it's much easier to work in a team. No wonder the success rate, the percentage of people who get into this business and succeed, is twice as high in the MLM industry as in traditional businesses. Network marketing is unlike any other profession. What's unique about it is that you advance in your career in addition to getting the opportunity to make money and grow as a person. You get 
bit more free time, so you're able to spend more time with your family. Your outlook becomes more international because you get the opportunity to travel. MLN networkers travel more than most people. Just go take a look in social media. All those photographs in different countries. Only MLN networkers can afford to do this. The skills you acquire as a networker enable you to start earning at the drop of a hat, in any city, in any country, at any time. There's a saying in the networking world, talking keeps your job alive, your knowledge is in your head, in any place, at any time. You can simply tell people you meet about your product, give some advice and get money for it. Did you know that many famous people have either worked in network marketing or are currently involved in it? There are billionaires, politicians, Hollywood stars and athletes, such as Warren Buffett. George Soros, Bill Clinton, Richard Branson, Robert Kajoski, Chuck Norris, Hulk Hogan, and even U.S. President Donald Trump. Once Donald Trump was asked, what would you do if you had to start all over again? Trump answered that he'd find a fledgling network marketing company equipped with a good product and good training support. The audience burst out laughing and Trump said, that's why you're sitting in the audience and I'm standing on this stage. The billionaire investor Warren Buffett just did that. He bought MLN companies. This is the smartest investment I've ever made, he said. And Robert Kiyosaki had this to say. The richest people in the world look for and build networks. Everyone else looks for work. Brian Tracy, the world-famous expert in business and personal achievement, believes that network marketing gives you a tried and true success track that will allow you to start making making money immediately. Which is better, a million at once or 10 cents that will be doubled every day? If you're familiar with the basics of mathematics, then you're bound to choose the 10 cents because in just one year, they will turn into many millions. What's a pyramid scheme? A pyramid scheme is an illegal or semi-legal company that just moves money around or is playing some kind of game. The distinguishing trait of a pyramid scheme is that it's just an empty shell, pure hype. They never have any product. Or sometimes they say, we're selling an idea. What does that even mean? Pyramid schemes offer no training. They're illegal and generally very short-lived. Pyramid schemes redistribute money from the bottom upwards. As a rule, they crumble within six months or a year, maybe a year and a half tops. They go out of business. And the folks who were the last to join inevitably wind up losing their money. Any pyramid scheme is inevitably going to result in people losing money. Many projects like this have sprung up online, so be careful. There are a lot of people who lure others into it, mostly these are money-hungry profiteers, bent on baking big bucks immediately. If the company has no specific product that you actually receive, it can either be some service that you can use or some kind of product that you can use. You bought it. It's yours. It's not a loss, but a real acquisition. You can return it and get your money back. If so, that's a normal company. But if you can't return it, then it's a pyramid scheme. I'd like to appeal to all of you, don't let yourselves be dragged into pyramid schemes, empty shells, hype, don't be cheated, and don't cheat other people. After all, when you cheat other people, you're sowing misery, and you'll reap what you sow. Don't tarnish your name and reputation. Don't get drawn into these pyramids with their hollow promise of huge profits in no time. If you want to go into network marketing, the first step is to find the right company. Choose a product that suits you, that you really like. Survey the market to know what's out there, what's on offer. The most important thing to look for is whether the company offers proper training. Better yet, if the company has its own training academy, next, see how generous the company is, how rewarding is a career with them. They'll be successful and you will in building your own structure if they pay you well for your work as a distributor. 
If the career path looks rewarding and the pay is generous, then it's a good company. Then people will be joining it to make money. Then people will be making sales. Then the company will be able to keep them. Everything's relative, so you need to look at different companies, how much they pay for comparable sales volume. How much does this or that company pay for the same amount of work done or money brought in? Choose a company that pays well. If a company pays well, that means it has no need to persuade its people to be loyal. So you won't lose employees. They won't be leaving for other companies that pay better. They'll work on your team, and so your team will grow and expand. Once you've chosen a company, you should naturally purchase the company's product and start using it. When you start using it, you can then also sell it. You'll know the product inside out, so you'll be able to sell it. The basis of MLM sales, the basis of any MLM company, is sales. Any sale starts with the salesperson. It starts with the impression you make. It starts with how professional you are and how appealing you are to the customer. Only then can you offer the customer the product. All sales begin with interpersonal communication, from the first impression, from working on yourself. When you start working in the MLM business and you want to make money, and this applies to any business really, you have to to start with yourself. Start with your personal growth, that is, with seminars and training. Work on your skills, on your appearance. At the very least, buy a suit. Of course, being successful is difficult in any case, in any job. If you haven't yet achieved success, it's worth asking yourself, have you chosen the right path? Why not try another one, at least as an experiment? Did you know that many people who have been very successful in network marketing actually got into it solely to double-check that it didn't work. They prove the exact opposite to themselves and their friends and family. That first step is hard, and even harder is not living the life you want. Remember, as long as you're working for others, it's to fulfill their dreams, not yours. To succeed in network marketing, you need to work hard. It's not a magic wand that you can wave and become rich. But there is no limit to your growth and fulfillment of your dreams. In network marketing, you can achieve any goal you set, and that's exactly what I value the most. Multi-level marketing lets you take charge of your life and build your destiny. Probably the greatest rewards of network marketing are big money, recognition and freedom. To become successful, you need to be different. Not like everyone else. Success is beating difficulties. It's growth, pain. In any MLM company, there are a lot of people who got in to try it out, and after a couple of failures, they got too scared to go any further. People who are weak, who have not developed perseverance, who fear rejection. They remain at a standstill all their lives. They don't make decisions. Not everyone is successful. Not everyone is the same. Not everyone has perseverance. So, all network marketing companies are full of people trying it out. And many, actually most of them, are scared off by negative experiences or rejections. They'd rather do nothing at all than get a no in response. Most people fear rejection. I want you to understand that it's not you who's being rejected or your product. The customer is just not ready. He's rejecting himself. To become successful, you need to go through these rejections. You've got to hear your first 100 no's. A child learning to walk, how many times does he fall? That doesn't mean he falls once, twice, three times, then quits and stops trying. I'd say I've got more rejections than there are hairs on my head. I've probably been rejected more times and there are nerve cells in my body. So what? I gotta know. Where are they now? And me? We all know that all the world's money is in human hands. People hold it. And so for that money to find your pocket, you've got to give them something they need.
You just need to follow three tenets of success. The first, to do a little every day. The emphasis is not on a little, but on every day. The second, stick by your leader, the person who'll teach you, who cares, who's already walked this path. There is someone you can learn from. And third, keep persevering in this for at least a year, at least your first year. Then knowledge, professionalism and money will come to you. By that time, you'll already have your own network, which will bring you a steady, passive income. People often ask me, how do I start building my network? In fact, each of us already has one, from family and close friends to distant relatives and acquaintances. To create a network, you just need to be very sociable. Attend lots of training courses and different events. If you don't sit around at home or in your office, if you're constantly on the move, either you'll come across a good prospect or eventually someone with an interesting proposal will run into you. Basically, if you're always on the go, you're bound to have a network. At any rate, you will have a wide range of contacts. If you stay at home and sit in front of your computer, well, there's little reason to expect success. Make a list of your friends, check your phone. You have so many acquaintances in your contacts who could tell you about your product. There are always people who can tell you about it. Some will send you packing, some will hear you out, and some will follow you. It'll only be a small number of people who follow you, maybe 10%, 10 out of 100 people. That's where your perseverance will help, when despite numerous rejections, you'll still venture out to talk to people. Networkers are totally different people, because even after most people reject them, they keep on going, with a smile. And that's what leads to success, perseverance. Your success begins with your perseverance, your steadfastness. Where am I going with this? We all have this amazing resource, a network of people we know and we make no use of it. Yet we're constantly selling something and not realizing it. Just imagine, what would happen if you combined the two? Started selling deliberately, using your entire network of contacts. That is exactly what network marketing is. It's income you receive continuously. If you want to make a lot of money, you have to apply yourself in earnest. You need to give up. And I mean, really give up. Any extraneous pursuits and focus on one line of business. You set your sights far ahead, on a single path to achieving your goal. There are misconceptions about the MLM industry, that you'll never make much money from it. If you do it with dedication and focus on it, then you can make serious money, enough to buy a house and a vacation home as well, and save up a considerable amount for retirement. Or if you want, to put aside a nest egg which will provide not only for you, but for your family, your children, and even your grandchildren. Starting up a business is like getting an aeroplane off the ground. In order to go up, you need to hit the gas. You need to get it moving. You have to devote yourself to this business, to your goal. You'll need to give all your time and energy to take off. Anybody can become a distributor. Anyone can become rich. The most important thing is perseverance. You've got to be damn stubborn. Persistence is just as much a habit as everything else. It can be acquired. But the most important thing is just not to give up. The most important thing is never give up. Always take another step. Whatever happens, take one more step. Never stop. Go. Don't change your goal. Be true to it. Believe in your dream and always move forward to the very end. Keep moving. You must be so persistent that people run away from you that they say that it's easier to give on to you than explain why they can't. Persistence. It's better to have someone run away from you and call you crazy than for you to regret later that you didn't go all the way. Go and give it your all until they run away from you. Then comes the money. Perseverance is invincible. It's the elixir of success in any business. Of course, some people won't understand you. Some will say you're a zombie. So what? Let them say that, what they like. You don't give a damn. What matters is what you'll bring home to your wife and children. That's what matters. The key is perseverance, that you keep going to the end. Let them run away from you. Get up and go for it. Go out and sell to everyone. Target absolutely everyone around you. Don't be afraid. Make an offer. There's nothing to lose until you have it. Recently, I climbed to the highest point in Europe, the western peak of Mount Elbrus, elevation 18,510 feet. To reach the top of Elbrus, you start with a small step. Breathe in. Step. 
breathe in, step. It's named the Himalayan step. It's not difficult to take a small step. You're taking only one small step at a time. But if you keep going, you'll definitely get to the top. It all begins with a single step. Both in life and in business, you always take the next step. One of my basic principles is never stop. Whatever happens, one more step. So far, the most productive and efficient way of bringing in real revenue has been working on the ground, as we call it, through actual meetings, face to face. Personal presence and eye contact are always more compelling and effective on both the verbal and the non-verbal level than interacting and working through chat rooms or Skype. Of course, you may be able to reach more people, but I haven't yet come across a way that gives better results than working on the ground, working face-to-face, -face, training real live managers. This is a global network based on personal relationships, person-to-person, -person, which covers the whole world. Why do I emphasize personal connections? Because you can create a very large network very fast online, made up of people who don't know each other. A network like that will just fall apart overnight, but personal relationships, ties and contact between people tend to last. People People become friends. That's why the most effective way of doing business is working on the ground, as we call it. Dealing with people directly, personal, face-to-face -face communication which creates a unified worldwide network that is supported by friendly, warm and cordial relationships. If I were to draw an MLM network, I would draw a network that expands the entire globe. Wherever there are people, there is MLM. In the MLM business, it's impossible to succeed alone. You have to work as a team. You need to be a team player to achieve success, spectacular success. To become a millionaire, you need to work in a team. Create your team. Assemble a mosaic of people who complement each other with their spark, their humor, their rational thinking, their determination, their genius or talent. And when you put them together, you get a perfect brainstorm, a team a team that breaks down all barriers, all obstacles. A team of like-minded individuals, all different. Their strength is in their differences. Each person has a role to play. Each one brings their special spark to the table. That's what MLM is all about. Of course, when there is a leader with wit, mischief and charisma, who also takes on the responsibility, that leader will likely earn a lot of money. But that's because people will follow him, because they enjoy being with him. He livens up their world. If you can do that, people will be drawn to you. Create a vibrant life around yourself. People are drawn to where it's bright, where it's upbeat and smells of success and positivity, where there's humor and wealth. It draws people in and it snowballs. Success is a state of mind. It's a constant. Success can consist of 80% failures and only 20% positive outcomes. And you'll still be successful. Success is a constant. If a person is successful, they're successful. However many setbacks and failures they may have had. And not every deal, every meeting or every contact has a successful outcome. You can have many more failures than successes and still be successful. Because on the whole, from the many, many attempts you make, you achieve a result that overrides all failures. Seek contact with successful people. Interact with people who earn more than you. Talk to people who have done better than you. If a person has achieve something better than you, they can teach you. You need to learn from those more powerful than you. They're the only people you can learn from. Copy their useful habits and actions. 
adopt the right gestures. If you spend enough time with successful people and celebrities, then the next time you find yourself somewhere without them, you involuntarily start acting like a successful person. Spend time with people who've done better than you. Seek out people more powerful than you. Only then will you grow and develop. To achieve success, you need to have a goal and be true to your goal. You can't be trained. You can't abandon it. Whatever happens, you have to be obsessed. Move only forward, only towards your goal. When you have an idea in your head, when you have a goal in mind, there's your power. That is the motivation. I want it and I go after it. I'm moving. You think you dream. You set a goal and chase it. You stubbornly move towards it, always moving. You make mistakes along the way, you get knocked. Some hard knocks too. You get up and carry on. You'll always have what you want if you get up and go. I've gained a lot and lost a lot. I've made countless mistakes and I always got up and got on. Here's my motto. Always take a another step, whatever happens. You get up and take another step forward. Whatever happens, that stays in your head. Whatever happens, take another step. You'll reach your goal. If you set modest goals, you'll make a modest amount of money. If you have vast global goals, you'll make a lot of money. Whatever's in your head. What you want, what you think about, is what you will get. Always think globally and think big. Then you will have a large business. You've got to have a clear goal. You need to know what you're doing this for, how much you want to earn, and why you need this money. Where are you going? When you know what you're doing it for, you'll get results. When you have a big goal, you have opportunity, prospects and growth. You can move mountains to achieve your goal. But it's just for money? That's unlikely. I'd have hardly gone into this just for the money. If you do this, do it for the sake of something, to achieve something, to realize your dream. Did I think back then, when I was hungry, humiliated, crushed and robbed, reading about Donald Trump, that less than two years later, I'd be sitting in his office and talking to him? You can do it if you're true to your dream. Picture your life. This is it. How old are you now? 10? 20? 30? 40 to 50 years? How long will you live? 10? 90? 80 years? Say 70 years. That's all you have left. When are you going to start living? You have to live now. You have to earn now. Make a move, right now. Take the first step towards success. Do it. Do something that will change your life. Go on. Movement is life. Life is success. Your own.